Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Um, so sorry that we're late again. <laughs> I was gabbing. With, yeah, I was gabbing with Anne. She hasn't been feeling good, and so I wanted to, you know, um, check on her right before we went live to see how she was doing. So I feel fine, except I've had a problem with my eyes. So um, yeah. Yeah, it's been about three weeks. Yes. Yes. So. Hi, Jean. So we are, we are, um, we're here. We're here. So, yeah. We're live. Lisa is feeling better from last week. Oh, so my gosh. Fun. You know, I, I, I swear to you, I think we're taking turns, you know, on, on being sick and it's like this is if this is what getting old is all about i'm done i oh I'm no done i'm not it. done <laughs> well okay no i'm not that done but i told just, them last week that you have sympathy for me because we have been friends for so long and you've never had a bronchitis problem in your life ever whereas that is what i get i get bronchial pneumonia every year sometimes twice a year and Finally, two years ago, she decided to join me. <laughs> yeah. 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 And and not happily, I will say. <laughs> because hers hasn't gone away. Yeah. I just keep, you know, it's there for a second and then it's, you know, it's back again. I I don't know. I'm going wife. To see, yeah. I'm going to see my doctor again the end of the month. So, you know, and I'm going to the mountains in a week. So, you know. Ooh. That, that cures everything, right? Vacation cures everything. Vacation cures everything. All right. So, hi, Jean. So sorry that we kind of like are going off on our own little tangent this morning. Um, for those of you that are joining us for the very first time, my name is Lisa Rojas. And this is my business partner and very good friend, Ann Butler. So, say hi. Hi, hi everyone. We are so happy to be here. Yes. We um, love doing our lives and sharing our creativity with you. And today we have a new company that we are working with, which yes. we are very excited about. Yes, yes, yes. I am beyond excited about this live. Um, you know, the couple times I have um, emailed Linda, Linda is the owner of the company, <laughs> We're working with iCrafter today, you guys, by the way. So, and um, every time that I email her, I tell her, I'm so excited for this live. I'm so excited for this live. <laughs> so, I'm so excited for this live. But, you know, um, so that's who we're working with today. And um, Linda is going to be giving away the die. I am working with today. So I'll show you all of that when I switch my cameras over. Um, but And we it. actually have it. So we'll be sending it out as soon as we announce the person. Yes, is. yes, yes, yes. So this is what we are making today. This is so much fun. <laughs> it is so much I'm fun. Make it a little bigger. And you know what? I have to say that this has been the easiest interactive card I have ever done. That is so cool. What little kid wouldn't want to have that? No kidding, right? I was thinking right? about I was thinking about my grandson because his birthday was Sunday and I was thinking about him um, when I created it. Um, so I did it not so not totally in a boy's theme but you know um but he just wants money anyways he's a teenager so you know i was gonna say yeah no, he not, would be impressed but a little younger grandchild yeah yeah yeah, yeah, really yeah. Be impressed. but i was thinking about him as i was creating it so you know it's just a super fun uh, card it's a great die i'm excited to work with but what i am most excited about is this platform that I'm going to be showing you guys today. Yep. It is fabulous. It is so awesome. I it 
it ranks right up there with my favorite tools. I had so much fun with this and I thought, oh my gosh, no more washi tape or anything like that. I know, just, right? You know, right? holding everything together. Yeah, yeah exactly. Absolutely fabulous. Exactly. So I can't wait to show you guys. Um, also, so Linda uh, from iCrafter is doing the giveaway. And um, you need to like, comment, and share my video here. And then go over to her Facebook page and give her a like, okay? She's a relatively new company. She's a small, small business. And, you know, Anne and I are very, you know, we're like, raise the roof with the small businesses because. Yep, got to support them. You know, yes, ma'am, because that's what makes our world go round, you know? It is. And we, you want to use the hashtag Bella Crafts so we can right. find you. Right. Yeah. So don't forget any of that because I always forget. That's why Anne has to jump in and remind me. I will be putting links in while Lisa is doing her live so that you'll be yeah. able to find iCrafter also. Yes. And also, you guys, if you are on watching us on YouTube, uh, no worries there because I always look at the comments. And uh, if you drop a comment in there, I will put you manually into the computer program so you can also be in on the giveaway. And we also do, we leave our giveaway open until the following Tuesday at yeah. midnight central time. Okay. Every, you know, every week we do it that way. Um, so that way, because we get the majority of our viewers are on replay. Yep. So, you know, um, I'd have to say probably 99% of our viewers are on, on replay, which, you know, is cool. We love, we love whatever, you know? Yeah. It's hard to find that perfect time for everybody to be here. Yeah, it is. And we've been doing this for a while and it just, you know, so we love our replayers. And, and the ones that can join us in person. Hi, Rebecca. Yes. Hi, Becca. We always love when you can join us in person. That is always the best ever. Um, but just to let you guys know that we do hold it open for that reason. Okay. So then everybody that's watching on the replay will also have an opportunity to get in on the giveaway. So, yeah. Hi, Sandy. She's watching from Illinois. I'm going to be in Illinois next week. So, oh, I wonder. I wonder if that's why Sandy's there. She'd be there all night early. I think she lives in Illinois. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Did I know that? But yes, I will be leaving Tuesday <laughs> to go to Illinois for a couple of days. I am mm -hmm. going to be in Rosemont at um, the H and H America show. There we go. And I'm I'll be filming to... live from there on Wednesday. So, just so you guys know, we. Lisa will be traveling next week and I will be at the show. So I will be doing some live clips from inside some of the booths. Yeah. Which is Phyllis, gonna be first awesome. time viewer. Hi there. Hi, Phyllis. Yeah. You know, exciting that, and you know, um, I used to love going to the shows. I really did. They were, wow. you know, they're always so much fun and, you know, I always used to say that my head felt like it was going to explode every time I would walk out of there because there would just be so, so much overload of ideas and products and everything crafty. So I'm like totally there if it's crafty. Hi, Linda. Hey, Linda. So happy you're here. You're here to answer any questions. <laughs> yes. Yes, please. That we can't answer. Yeah, right. Okay, so let's get busy. I'm going to switch my cameras over and we're going to get started. I will pop out after she gets her project cam down and I will put yep. links in for everything that we're talking about while she is doing her fabulous project. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, this was so much fun. <laughs> okay. I loved it. Okay. So let me show you guys once again. This adorable, this adorable pin. Oh, there you go. Thank I you. Say, remember, <laughs> I finally got my camera switched and I'm so used to doing everything this way. 
Oh my goodness. It is what I, we do. Yeah, I saw it though on the screen. So that was good. All right. So check this out, you guys. And I said, if, if you missed what I said from the beginning, this was the probably the easiest uh, interactive card I have ever put together. It was fabulous. But it goes like this. It's a pinwheel. So it goes like this. And you just keep turning it and turning it. And you can just, you know, you can do all kinds of things with it. And I'm going to show you um, some of those. And what I did with this is I used stickers. I used stickers and pattern paper on all of it. I didn't do any stamping on this. I know, don't be shocked because I stamp everything. That but is this just, <laughs> you know, it just lend. I know it is, right? It just lended to the whole card, you know, uh, because I had a paper pack that was birth that was birthday themed. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect for this project. So it's got all of these fun little things. See that? There we go. And then here you can do a little pop-up here. I created this. This is just a little envelope that I added. But yeah, isn't that fun? So let me show you I what I it. use. I know. It's so cute. Okay. Wait. Oh. Show how it stands up. Oh, stands up. Yes. Okay. So it isn't stands up like cool? this. That is cool. So... You know, it's perfect. It's just, you know, I just love this. And like I said, super, super easy, which, you know, a lot of times, sometimes, you know, they can be really, really hard. Um, interactive cards can be hard, but this one was simple. Okay, so let me, I'm going to put this back on here right now. So let me show you. This is the die set that I used. And that was the reason why I went to with the birthday theme, because this has got all kinds of good stuff in it for birthdays. So I just went with it and, you know, created it that way. So this has got 20 different dies in it. So it's got all it's got the dies that is going to make the actual card itself. And then it also has all of these fun little doodads in here. All Don't these dice. Love in that here. color, huh? Don't you just love that color? I do love this, Linda. I love this color because blue is my favorite. I have yeah. to admit, always. So yeah, I love when. Well, I've only seen one other company use color dyes. So, just saying, I think it's fabulous. But all of these little birthday details are all in here in the die. You've got your happy birthday uh, wording. You've got a cupcake stand and all of the elements to make a cupcake or, you know, whatever. This is um, the part of the die that you will use to create the actual gift card holder, which I'm going to show you anyways. But again, so that holds your gift card in place if you want to use a gift card or money. And then this piece right here will also uh, create your pop-up. So 20 different dies in this set. And this is what Linda is giving away for the giveaway, okay? Just to let you guys know. All right, so let me put this off to the side. Now, this is when I am over the moon to show you guys. Over the moon. Okay, this is, see I'm getting glare there. Let my camera readjust. My camera does that when I have it up higher, but I want to make sure that you guys can see, you know, all of the details and everything on, on this. So, this is called the Eye Mending, Eye Mend Self Mending Magnetic Pro Deck. This is a cutting surface. This is my new favorite tool. Yep. Don't know what you did with this, but this is amazing. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Um, and I have to admit, I did use another company a few years ago that had not like this, but had something, you know, a magnetic one. I absolutely hated it. 
hated it. This is fabulous. And this is what I really want to show you guys <laughs> about. It's just so cool. So that is what we are doing today. So let's get started and I can get all of my stuff over here. Now, you know, I did a lot of the cutting ahead of time, you know, just to just to save time, of course. Um, but that is not going to be a problem because I do want to show you how this actually works. So I left a few pieces um, cut out or not cut out so I can show you how it works. Okay, so this is the part of the die. This is your centerpiece. This is what you're going to do. Your, your whole pinwheel is going to revolve around this. Okay, so you have this piece and then you have these layered pieces. Okay, and there's three different sizes. So let me show you real quick how cool all of this is. So excited. All right. So I've got to get my new machine out. I was telling Ann. Oh, oh gosh, that's heavy. Okay. I was telling Ann that, and I told Linda too, um, I ended, I broke my big shot. I absolutely, I absolutely broke it. And of course, you know, I'm in a, a, a complete panic at this point because, you know, um, I had to get another, another machine to make this work. Oh, stop it, Suri. Nobody's talking. Suri but, but her big shot was like 20 years old. So. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so there you go. I, I mean, it was old. I have to admit it was very old. Um, but I ended up breaking it right before I started working on this, uh, this project. So I completely panicked and was like, you know, Amazon. Okay, so let me show you. Now, you're going to create your sandwiches for this, okay? You're going to create them different for each machine that you use. Okay, Linda has this awesome thing. Let me get this out of the way. She's got this paper on her website that shows how the sandwich works with each particular uh, die cut machine. Okay, so for mine, because I have a big shot. And, and two, I want to say this when you're doing this. Uh, because I asked Linda about this yesterday because I was... Um, concerned that I didn't have the sandwich stacking correctly. And um, she said that, you know, yes, I did. But there's also going to come time where, you know, you just got to use your own common sense. And if something, you know, doesn't work, then you do what you need to do to make it work. Right. So what I mean by that is for this, for the big shot machine, Let me get this all out of the way. Okay, you're going to start with your platform. This is going to be your sandwich. Let me move this first. My table is so small for all of this stuff. Okay, so you're going to use your platform first. And then you're going to lay this your the uh, pro deck on top. Right? And... This machine also came with the adapter, like the like the Sizzix machines do. Now, I tried this with the adapter, as it said by Sizzix, and I did I could not get it to work right. It was too hard to get through. So that's what I mean by sometimes you just have to, you know, play and work it your own way. So I did not use this one at all. So what I used then was the platform and then the pro deck goes on top. Then you're going to lay your paper down, right? And then you're going to lay your die face down 
Look at that, you guys. No more washi tape. It sticks. It's so it awesome. It sticks. I know. I love this. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So there you go. And then you're only going to use a top cutting plate. Okay. So that's how you're going to run it through your machine. Now, if, you know, this is for the, this is what I did for the fold away. Now, you know, I don't know if it'll work different with the regular big shot. I'm not sure. So like I said, if you need to use the A adapter, then go ahead and use it. But for me, I didn't, I didn't seem to need it. So I was really, you know, as long as it worked, I was happy. Okay. So now what we're going to do, once we made the sandwich, then we're going to just plot this right through. Okay. And my table is going to shake a little bit. But, oh my gosh, I love this. You know, I mean, it just runs through so smooth. And nothing shifts because it's nothing, magnetic. It's so cool. Nothing shifts. It's just right there. I mean, come on, man. This is like awesome. All right. So I'm going to do a couple more. These are the layers for the die. Let me get my little thingies off of here. All right. So we're going to make another sandwich. And did I do them? Oh, nope. I need this one too. All right. Perfect. I have all of these little papers cut out and I've got, you know, I was ready. I was so ready for this. Okay, so let me get rid of all of that. Get all my stuff here together. Okay, so these I've already cut out. So I'm going to leave that like that. And Linda, you know, if, if there's something that you want to add while I'm doing this, you know, Please jump in. We, we love it. Okay, so I have got all of my other papers. All right, so once again, because my table is small, we got to work with what we have, right, ladies? We do. All right, so again, got my platform, pro deck, okay, paper. And then my die. I just love how it just sticks. It just sticks. It's just boom. And there you go. I love that. So this one now I'm going to put down here like this. So then I'm going to just do them all at once. But yeah, it just stays right there. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. What a great idea, Linda. Great idea. I'm telling you guys, this is going to change how you die cut. It's going to change how you die cut because, well, I'll show you when I'm done. So let <laughs> me run this one through too. Okay. Get this through my machine here. I'm going to crank that out. Whoops. All right, that's because I'm not holding on to my plate. So, and it's going to pop here in just a second. There we go. All right, so now I can move this out of the way totally. And see, this is self-healing. That's why it's called eye mending, because it absolutely, it, it, mends itself so you're not going to have all of that scarring up that you do on your um on your cutting plates i just think it's ingenious yeah because your yeah. acrylic plates and you have to flip them all yeah. the time they kind of bend and then they warp and mm -hmm. you know it would just yeah and these just work this just works fabulous now you've seen me run it through Okay, 
See what I mean? There's no cracking noises either. Yes, that's so true. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I was having a little bit of trouble with mine. Um, I think because I need to work my machine in, you know, work on it better. But yeah, I love it. Okay, so now we're going to put all of that away. And then I'm going to show you how to put this together real quick here okay so as i said this is your bottom piece and your bottom piece is going to give you all of the folds that you need okay to make this so you're going to fold all of this let me scooch up a little bit now okay and then this last little bit right here and again, this is the piece that you're going to use to center your whole card around. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here. And you do because, you know, um, because this is an interactive card, like I always say, you do wanna make sure that you use a strong adhesive on this, okay? So you're going to put these two pieces together until you get like this little tower looking thing. Okay, now you can use like a red line tape or, you know, one of the tapes out there, but you guys know me enough to know that I can't, I don't know. Tape just doesn't like me very much because I can never get anything on straight when I'm taping something. So that's why I love my glue. All right. So I'm going to flip this over and make sure that that is really adhered down there well. And again, if you guys are missing anything that I am saying on, on this, um, no worries because I do a blog post every Sunday and I will have all of the instructions and the step outs and all of that there. Okay. So now we're going to put it together. Okay. So you're going to need four pieces of, okay, let me let it readjust. I hate that. I'm going to have to figure out yeah, I, I haven't really figured know. that out either. But it should adjust by now. Yep. Of course, it's going to give me a hard time because we're live. Always happens. Oh, seriously? Come on. Wow. Your, hand, your hands look really good, though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> See, there's always a bright side. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, what, what is going on here? All right. Oh, brother. All right. Any suggestions? I have no idea. My camera has never done this. Try moving it just a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Looks good there. Yeah, bring it down a little. Okay, I'm going to have to bring the whole thing down. All right. Okay, so I will talk to you guys while she's doing that. What? Because, let me see. Okay, I'll go like oh, this. That's clear. Oh, that is clear. Okay, I'll wait and tell them. I'm going to tell them later. Jeez. Much clearer, see? Wow. I know, I didn't even move it, though. All right, so back to this. <laughs> yes, Beatrice, I saw what you said about not getting things straight with tape. You know, I just don't. <laughs> I try, but I just don't. Doesn't mean I don't love tape. I do love it, but you know. All right, so as I said, you're going to need four pieces of this size. You're going to need four pieces of this die, 
Okay. And then you're going to need four. And I used cardstock on these. Okay. So really uh, simple. These are layers. This is, these are the pieces that are going to put it all together. So I'm going to put that over. So how you do this now is you start on one of your corners here. Okay. I'm going to make sure I, want to, I really want to make sure that this fold is that the fold is really good. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to line this up. On each edge, OK, so we're going to start with this one. All right. Oh, I'm getting sloppy. Okay. So I'm going to lay this down. And I'm laying it right on that fold, the score fold that I showed you in the die. Because you see here, it's got the four score, bar, score marks. So you put your first one there. And then you're going to move it, okay? And then you're going to put on the second one. And then you do that all the way around. Okay, there's that one. Oops. Okay, and then we're going to move it again. And you want to, you know, make sure that you take the time to, you know, let let your glue dry a little bit before you move on to the next step. Okay, so then we're going to lay that there. I don't even think I did this in the order that I did my card in, but it doesn't matter. Do something different. Well, it's nice. It's decorative on both sides. Exactly. I mean, that's what makes it so cute. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this is your last piece here. And we're going to lay that one. Right here. Now, I do have to say that when you're making this, you really want to think out your layers before you make your card, okay? Think about how your pattern papers are going to lay together, um, you know, if they're going to coordinate together. Just make sure that everything is planned ahead of time and it'll make putting it together a breeze. Now, as you can see now, so this is the pinwheel. See how easy that was to put together That's for so an cool. interact for an interactive card. This took this takes no time at all. Okay, so now what we're going to do is now we're going to go through and we're just going to lay down some layers. So again, all right. And I did think it through on my card, on my finished card. Um, I did not think it through on this one, but it doesn't matter. Because I just want you to see how it all goes together. It doesn't really matter, you know, if you did it, if you do it exactly how I did or, you know, that's it just doesn't matter. So, all right. I think I like this one here. All right, let's put that one there. There we go. So you can see what I mean about how quickly this goes together. Once you get your base card, the rest of the things that you're doing with it now is you're just layering. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I like that one. All right, we'll go with that one. And having double-sided paper does actually make it 
a lot nicer because if not, you would have, um, you would only have one side and you don't want that. You want it to be pretty on both sides. Okay, so there's that one. And then this is the last one. Okay, I'm just going to line that up there a little bit. Okay, so now you've got all of those layers down, right? Okay, so now the last layers that we're going to do is we're going to put these down. And these are going to go on the opposite side. Whoops, wrong way. All right, so we've got one there. And the die has everything, you know, I mean, it's all cut out. It's, it, you know, it's all thought out ahead of time with the layers, you know, which I said just makes this card so, so easy to put together. And I just love that. All right, so we've got two more layers here. And I'm going to lay these down. And then once you have these down, then you're ready to decorate however you want. So I'm going to put that last one down. There we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I have all of these cute little goodies that I made and I wanna show you guys. Okay, so this also is what comes in the die set. Okay, so you've got your happy birthday. You've got that there. And then you also have the outline I'm knocking things down on my desk. You also have the outline for the happy birthday. So I'm going to put those together real quick. And this is when this glue comes in handy because of the small, the small tip on the bottle. It makes adding this kind of stuff so much easier. And I love it for using little things. All right. So see there. So there you've got your, your happy. And then you've got your background on the happy too. Okay. So we've got that one. And then here's the birthday one. Okay. I'm just going to add some glue to this. There we go. And lay that one down. So see, basically the die has, the die set has everything that you need in it with an exception of the paper to, you know, create your own birthday card. Now for this, this is also what I did here. Okay, this is the cupcake. So you can see here that this is the cupcake top. Well, you'll see it better when I get my fingernails out of the way. But we're going to add this to the cupcake bottom. We're just going to adhere those two together. Oops. Okay, so there you can see that the start of my little cupcake there. <laughs> it's so cute. I know, right? And then we're going to put the cupcake right on the stand. Now, I put mine on the back part of the stand because I thought it looked cuter. But you can do it any way you want. 
Okay, so last, we're just going to add the cupcake to the stand there. And now you have this little adorable little cupcake that you can add to the inside of your card. Now we've got to put the candle on last. Whoops, one glue. So we're just going to put a little glue down there. And it's a good thing that I'm used to working with these fingernails because if not, we would be here all day just trying to glue things down. All right. I think I glued it on the back on the, yeah, I did. Let's glue it on the back. It looks better. All right. And a little bit of glue back here. Okay. And then you've got your little cupcake. And then what I did for this was I had, you know, um, some cute confetti uh, confetti pieces. Well, it's sticking to me. Your hands have glue on them. Yep. And that's another reason why I like my zip dry because it dries quicker. Yes, I did say that out loud. <laughs> okay, so there's your cupcake. And then what I did was I took some of these sprinkles that I have here. And you can see, too, in the package, they're, you know, they're pretty big. So what I did was I just took, um, poured a little bit out on my table. And I took, a you know, a straight edge. And I just chopped them into pieces. And then added them to the top of my cupcake here, which I'll show you in just a second. But I want you to see these other two pieces before we're done. Okay, so this piece, now you can cut this directly from your whole piece of pattern paper. In other words, you could lay the die down on, let's say, this piece right here and cut it out there. But I wanted it to be all together separate because I wanted a whole different color. So... It will, when you die cut it out, it will give you the edges around and you just snip them off. And then you've got these two little pieces here. And that is what's going to hold your gift, oops, your gift card in. So you want to make sure when you glue this on though, I've got glue all over my fingers. When you glue this on, make sure that you do not glue your flaps down. Okay, because if you do that, then you're not gonna you're not gonna get anything in there. So you can glue these edges here, just don't glue the flaps down. So what I did with that then is I just laid that down on my paper just like that. And then now you've got the little you've got little slot cutouts that you can stick money in, a gift card, you know, a little note whatever. And then the other piece that's in the die that I wanted to show you, this is to create your pop out. Okay. So let me show you here on mine. Okay. This is the piece right here. Whoops. Backwards. To create this cute little pop up. See how that just pops up. So what you're going to do is it cuts it out for you and then it gives you your score lines. You've got four score lines. Okay. And I have found using this, the easiest way to do it, to make sure that it's going to fold on all of your, you know, wherever you put it, is this middle piece right here. This is the long piece. Okay. If you can see it, there's, that's short. This one right here is longer. And then these two are a little shorter. So you always want, <coughs> excuse me, you always want this one on the side that's going to pop out. Okay. So let me explain it just a little further. So I'm going to take my glue here because sometimes it's easier to see than it is to explain. All right, so you're going to glue this tab down. 
just as I've done here. We're going to take this and we're going to glue that down. Okay, right about there. And then this other piece over here, once you get your first piece laid down, then you want to lay this flat. Just for a second, just so you can make sure because you're going to fold this piece under and glue it. But before you do, just make sure that it's going to fold. But if you always have this piece, this long piece, if you always have this to the left of you, it's going to fold on all of them, okay? And that's just how, you know, the, the fold out to use or how they work. So we're just going to add some glue to that. And then I'm going to push it down over here. And again, you want to make sure that you do not glue down that middle piece. Because if you do, then it's not going to pop. Okay, so once you know that that's glued on really quick, you know, really good, then you can fold it. And then, of course, you can mail this in a regular A2 size envelope. So it's just that easy to create this. I knew that was going to pop. I didn't let it. I didn't let it dry enough. But you see, and then you can just decorate it any way you want. So what I did is, you know, I just added my happy birthday to one page. And then I did my cupcake on another. I'll show you the finished one. And then the last thing that I that I did uh, this is not in the die. This is just mine. I created a small little envelope like this. And I'm just going to fold this up and I'm going to glue these edges down. And if you want the pattern for this little envelope, just let me know and, I, and I'll, um, I'll put it, um, I'll put it in the comments or something. But see, you've got this cute little envelope here and then you can take some paper and put it in there. And then you've got like this cute little note card that you can add to one of your places. So again, you know, no fuss, no muss with this one, you guys. This was a very simple interactive card to do and then as you can see is I took my um, stickers that I had in the set because the paper pack that I had is a big, it was a big 12 by 12 and it had a, a whole sheet of stickers. So instead of stamping, I just went through and I just added some, you know, little stickers here and there just to make it simpler. And then this is, as you can see, for your gift card money. And then this is what the little cupcake look like when it was all done. I did add a little bit of glitter pen on that also, just to kind of give it a little, you know, a little shiny. I love that. And then, Terrible. yeah, and then here is where I added my little pop-up and then my little card and envelope that you can put a little, you know, little note in or whatever, but yeah. So much fun and so easy to put together. I, I'm telling you, I've never I've never had one that was this simple. And Linda is saying that this is definitely, it's on sale right now. So I suggest that you head on over to the website and grab this because this will be an interactive card that you will make more than once because it's so simple. <laughs> right, right. That's one that you oh, could make several of. Very you could. And by adding stickers, you don't have any extra work with stamping and coloring and all of that. It's just, you know, it's just fun. I know. It's, for you to do a card with die cuts and stickers, I'm so impressed. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's just, it's not me. No, I'm I impressed. It's good. Oh, well, well, thank you very much because, you know, sometimes, sometimes I might do something without stamping it, but that's like 
few and far between. But yeah, so you get all of these little goodies in the die set. Like I said, it's 20 pieces. But seriously, you guys, I'm telling you right now, and I'm going to say it again, this will change how you die cut. So if you don't want to have to spend any more money on warped cutting pads and all of that, Here's your answer. Just saying. All right. So let me switch cameras. You all talk amongst yourselves. So Linda, can you um, let Lynn know how long that's going to be on sale for? She's wondering if you can put it in the comments. And I will come in. And I starred some of these um, so I can make sure we answer um, I think Beatrice asked, are we going to get print out of the paper? I think you're asking if um, the sheet that is on the iCrafter site, if you're able to print it out, um, that shows oh. the sandwiches. And yes, you can print yes. that out. Yeah, Linda, that's what I did. Linda said you should not use adapter A when die cutting. Okay. And, um, I, I had I had to star this just because um, Jeannie said, you know, like when your camera was going all wonky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she said she was glad it was on your end. She thought her eyes had completely given up. <laughs> <laughs> See, so we're comic relief for people. <laughs> you know? I mean, what, what do you? Yeah, what do you, you know, mean? you know. So if you want the sandwich chart, it's on the iCrafter website. I put a link in here for you, and so yep. did Linda. And it's on the top left corner of the homepage. Yeah, and you oh. can, I just, you know. Easy to find. Yeah, I just did it and printed it out. And then, you know, I mean, it, it says all of the sandwiches for all the different machines. It's got uh, Spellbinders, Platinum 6. Let's see, the Big Shot, the Sizzix Vagabond, the Sizzix Switch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anna Griffin's Express. We are Memory Keepers Evolution and Crafter's Companion with the Gemini Junior. So, no, okay. you know, them. yeah, it, it mm -hmm. covers, I think, pretty much, a, pretty much every one of the manual machines that are out. Even some of the electronic ones. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then Linda said the magnet, magnetic pro deck has a lot of strong magnets. So don't let the pro deck come in direct contact with metal rollers on your machine. Always have a thin piece of mylar as a shim or a sheet of paper between that and the rollers. Because yes, it would definitely just kind of stop in its tracks. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, and you know, I, like I, I forgot to mention that. So, Linda, thank you so much for for stepping yes. in and and letting us know that because I I had it on my mind. You know, well, to unless say we it. write everything down and we don't. No, we kind of wing things here. Yeah, we do. We yeah. just yeah. <laughs> um, and then the the card that Lisa created it does fit in an A two envelope unless you would put bigger things that were popping out of it. Yeah, you don't want, yeah, if you want it to fit in an envelope, you do not want to put tons of embellishments in there. But if you do, put it in a padded envelope and it'll send great. So yes. there you go. Yes, it would. You know. Um, Eva is here. She says, greetings from Finland. Hi, Eva. It's so nice oh. to have you. I know you've been here before. So Yeah, she has. I haven't, we haven't seen her for a while. Hi, Eva. And then I wanted to, to show this it's kind of in the packaging so this is what you're looking for it is so fabulous because it's a self-mending as lisa said i mean it is such a cool thing but i wanted to show you these too so they also have the transluting translucent cutting decks look at that color i know i know but i may have to i may have to get one of those you i think you do but what's cool about it is which i've never seen on any of them and can you see that that's a little bevel oh yes so when you're putting it into the machine it, it's going to go in so much easier than when it's flat like flat. this yep 
So that is super cool. I want yeah. to show that because I love that feature. Yeah. And these come in a couple colors. I think so, pink. Yeah. I think pink is the other one. Yeah. Yes. The blue and pink. Yeah. We need purple, Linda. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you will make Anne's life so much happier, Linda. Just yeah. saying. And then so, Linda had an idea that what the project that Lisa did would be a great kids summer project because they could oh. you could make those and they can make them for their friends. They can decorate them any way they want. You yep. put out like all the stuff and let them play. And just let them go. Heck yeah. yeah. That would, and I so mean, much, they would have so much fun, you know, with the, with the interactive part of it. They would, right? I mean, oh, gosh. Purple, great suggestion. Yes, Linda Purple. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want everything in blue and Anne wants everything in purple. So, you know. <laughs> I love blue too. I mean, that is in our logo. This is true. Yes. This is true. Aqua. Beatrice, yes. It is true. My truck is blue. Yes, it is. Yeah, she just got brand new truck. I don't think I'd get a purple vehicle. Blue is blue is a safer bet. Well, that was that, and that's a pretty bright blue too. But it reminds me of my first van um, when my kids were little and we first moved up here, and it was that color. Oh, see, and everything it, comes it, around. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking in my yeah. head when Rich showed me. I was like, oh, my God, yes, buy it. So, yeah. <laughs> Price doesn't matter. Nope, it doesn't, run, doesn't matter. No. Nope. Don't care right if it pulls color. the trailer right. <laughs> if it's yeah. blue, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's the little things. Exactly, right? Make, a ha make us happy. Well, you know, and and let him figure out the more difficult stuff. That's what yeah. boys are for. <laughs> it's true. So um, I am not doing a live today. Normally we do one at noon and two. I am yes. not. You can see I have glasses on. These aren't even my glasses. They're, they're my readers, my cheaters. You know, and it's kind of hard to see. But I've had um, eye issues for a few weeks now. Yes. And... Um, so I am going to go to the doctor tomorrow and get some medicine because I can't see very well out of this eye. So I didn't think it would be wise to. She's liable to chop her finger off or something like that. Wouldn't you? Well, you know, um, no, that would be something I would do. And yeah, I wouldn't would do that. that. Yeah, I would do something like, well, actually, I did cut my finger this week. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Yeah. So make sure you. Like, comment, and share with the hashtag Bella Crafts to enter to win this fabulous die set. 20 dies. Yeah. Love that color. All those fun little details that are all in yeah. there. Because there's a bunch of other details that I didn't show you, like a little cherry for the top of the cupcake. Little birdies. You no, know, the, the birdies aren't in, in that one. Oh, I saw them there. Okay. Yeah. No, they're I, did, not, I, I, I haven't opened it, so I can't see what's down there. So I <laughs> maybe they were down there. But yeah. yeah, so cute. And it's got other, and it, it does have things. Maybe on, I can do um, this. It's got a couple dies in there too that also will decorate the cupcakes. It, it'll make a little confetti for you. I just happen to like this. Oh, yeah. You know, cute stuff that I put on. Um, but yeah, it, it does have the stuff in there that you can add. That would be those cupcakes. guys with the yeah, little mini those. holes. Yeah, see, and there's the little cherry for the top of the cupcake. So cute. Just so it's just cute. a great die set. I love it. It is. But again, so you guys just win this. Yeah. Make sure that you do that. Uh next week I'm gonna be traveling and is going to be going to the show. I Hopefully am. she's gonna be able to go because <laughs> You know, having... I, I already looked it up. I can fly even though my eye is, you know, I, I may be at the show with a patch or something, but um, I can fly. <laughs> so I'll be at the show. Nothing. And I will be filming live from the show. So, yes, it, I am excited. This show, Bella, is um, we are one of their media partners. Yes, so we are. we are very excited about that. I'm going to the H and H America show, Lynn. It is yeah. in Rosemont, and I do have. Um, we sent out a newsletter, 
And mm -hmm. also at the end of every blog post for the last few weeks, we put a link. So if you are somebody that makes a living at crafts, you know, whether you do craft shows or whatever it is you do, you can click that link to sign up and get a ticket for free from us. Yeah. So um, we are so excited to be their media, one of their media partners. Yes. And um, That's a big deal. It is. It is for it's us. A very big deal that, that they picked us for that. Yeah. Yes. And um, we will be, I will be filming live from the show. I'm only, it's such a quick trip for me. I'm flying in on Tuesday. The show is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but I'm flying home Thursday morning. So I'm only going to be at the show on Wednesday. Right. Um, I have family commitments Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So um, that took priority. Yep. But I will be doing some Facebook lives from the show. And um, we're excited about that because th there's over 200 booths at this show. And I it's been a while since it's been we've had a big show in Chicago. Yeah. Um, yeah. We used to do the summer show every single year. So um, I loved it. Ugh, it was so much fun. I know. And one day Lisa will be able to come to shows with me again. I hope. I know. I know. Well, in the meantime, I will have Julie McGuffey with me and Eileen Hall. So oh, see, she's in good <laughs> hands. I'm in good hands. Yeah. She's in good hands. That's the only way I would let her go is if she I knew she That's was in true. good she hands. Let me go anyways. She, I, I would. But um, yeah, so it will be it will be a fun show. We are um, excited about it. I am excited yeah. to share it with you. Will you be in Schaumburg in August this year? August. Sandy, is that um, a scrapbooking show? I I have no plans to be there. It, I didn't it doesn't even know mean it what... won't change. I mean, I'm I'm going to um, this in June. I have a show in. North Dakota in July. So it, it, it would depend what, if it would be worth it for me to go. Right. Um, lots of booth. Yes, we, we do. We love Eileen and Julie. And yes. Yes. Scrapbook Expo. Oh, you know, okay. Julie has told me to do that show before and bring my stuff. And I just have not done it yet um with so many other commitments but it is something to definitely consider because schaumburg i mean i would still fly i've driven from my house to rosemont before i have um a couple yeah. times but um anymore i would fly <laughs> so yeah now you know, when the shows were in Anaheim, that was an hour away. That's about as long as you're going to get me to drive anywhere because I don't. I, mm -mm. Can you put a link <laughs> to iCraft Facebook page? Yes, I will share that again. It's, it's iCrafter Art. And yep. No, I got it. I already put it oh, in there. Oh. I'm just grabbing it again. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So there you go. I will I will go over comments to make sure that you know there were any questions that Anna and I missed. Um and if you think about it, just you know, anything else, just drop it in there. Or Definitely. if you know you, you have a question, um, you can always private message yes. you know me on the project. I will totally take the time to, you know answer any questions that you have yes so definitely. no problems and our oh. winner from last week oh well, i was looking at becca's comment already my faves to check out yeah all right becca you go girl you're welcome yeah. lynn you yeah, love uh, the shows in anaheim yeah that, those were oh, good. I you know so i miss so many of the shows so that's why i'm hoping that this show is going to it's going to be a replacement or yeah an addition i don't know but you know. because i go to the nampta show which is right and nampta is a good show too you know mm -hmm. but this one's just closer and it would always be in rosemont 
Yeah, that's all, that's that's, see, that's how I felt about CHA when it was in Anaheim. I'm like, yeah. Do that's you cool. use two new pads when getting the iCraft pads? Um, if you if you order these, you get two in a package. Right. You can use these, or if you get the magnetic, you would use this and one acrylic plate. Yes. So um, I just, these are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. We, we are about the tools. <laughs> we are. We um, are. When I broke my big shot, Rich was like, why are you telling me? Just go order one. <laughs> Can't you just get another one? <laughs> like, I know, right? Okay. <laughs> I know. I know. Hey, I wanted to make sure that I did a good live for Linda because, like I said, small business, we got to, we have to we support have to. small businesses, guys. We really do. So, yes, they are only $16 a set, which is good. Yes. You know, that's yes. a good and, the cutting pad, the, the pro deck is, is going to cost you more, but you're not going to have to replace die cut plates. Right. I mean, this one's going to self heal itself. So, well, you know, and they stick. That's I the mean, best part. They stick. Look at <laughs> through the paper. Through the, that's the best part. It is, you know, no more shifting. I, it's a no-brainer. No, but, and I'm yeah. so sick of washi tape trying to pin everything down on washi tape. No, this is, you guys got to, yeah. You got to do it. And you are very welcome, Linda. Yes, Linda. You are very we are welcome. We're so happy to have you. Yes, we are. So, all right, you guys. So, that is it for us today. Um, oh, winner and, from last oh. week. So, we have a winner. She picked it. She knows the name. Oh, yes, 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 he, yes. He is for um, the plaid um, prize package. Yeah, but I can't pronounce her last name. So, Hant. Hant. Okay, so Crystal Hant yep. is the winner from yay. plaid from last week. So, yay. Congratulations, Crystal. I don't see you in here, but that's all right. You might you might have caught us on a replay. So, well, that's yeah. so if you watch the replay, just message us and we will be sure to get your prize out to you. Yes, we will. All right. So you guys have a great week. Anne's going to be filming next week from the show. And then um, I will see you guys on the 28th. Right. On the 28th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll still be... Um, it'll be gone, but I'll here, be here. I'm going to look at my, my calendar real quick because usually on the fourth, um, Oh, Wednesday, Wednesday we do. of the month, we do an interview, mm -hmm. but, um, so I'll, I'll let you guys know, we'll put it in there next week if we are, otherwise we might just do a project. Um, okay. I know that the, first weekend in or the first Wednesday in July we will be doing some of my new products with Stencil Girl. Yeah. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, that's going to be fun. So okay you guys, so that's it for us and you know, we hope you have a great week and like we always say don't forget to take some time to craft because it's good for your soul. It is. Definitely. It really is, you guys. It really is. All right. Take care. Have a great week. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.